Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how to flash tune the NAVU VXVY Commodore V6 ECUs. Keeping in mind, this is only relevant for the naturally aspirated Ecotec VU, VX, and VY uh, with the brown and tan plugs. It is not related at all to L67 or VSVT because they are different ECUs, okay? Now, the first thing you're going to need as an ALDL cable, we have this one here from Cartronics. There is a link in the description to purchase one of these if you wish. You will need that and you will need a laptop. Okay, so we have our laptop as well. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to plug in our cable into the OBD2, OBD port Sorry, under the uh, steering wheel. Okay. Then we're going to grab this end and we're going to plug this into our laptop. Before we do that, however, we're going to open up Device Manager. This will come in handy. And we're going to go to Ports. And we're going to look there. So there's COM3 there now. So we plug in our ALDL cable. And we know that our ALDL cable is now COM4. Alright, so that is important for this. Now this folder here is available for download in the description, so you will need that. It has Tuner Pro, OSE Enhanced Flash Tool, .NET, and uh, ID Tool, and the ALDL driver. So the ALDL driver is only needed if you plug in your cable and for some reason it doesn't work. It should work, but if it doesn't, install those drivers and you'll be set. Okay, so we have our VY Commodore here today is what we're using. Um, and it actually, I have removed this key fob so that it won't start. I've done this on purpose for this video. Okay, so without the this here touching the slip ring on the barrel, the car actually won't start because it can't transfer the security information. So we're going to de demonstrate that right now. We're going to try and start the car. So as you can see, it started and it stalled straight away. So this is because the ECU has turned off fuel because it's noticed there's something not right. Okay, so to fix that, we're going to flash the ECU and we're going to take off VATS. So first you're going to open up OSE Flash Tool. You're going to go into Preferences. And you're going to go Flash PCM in Vehicle. Choose your ECM COM port as the COM port that shows up here. So for us it's COM4. And then you're going to go interface and you're going to go into go USB ALDL. Okay, and you're going to check flash PCM auto fix for checksum. This is a must. You must always do this. If you don't, it only causes problems. Okay, so we got now we're going to turn our car to reds. So now the ignition's on. The car isn't on, just the ignition's in the on state. And we are now going to connect to the ECU. Now this may take a while because it has to find silence on the bus basically to shoot its own message across to turn around and silence everything so that it can do what it needs to do. So it basically has to sync with the bus. Alright, so there you go. We can see we've uh, connected to the car, so that's all good. Now what I recommend every time you connect to any car... Um, whether it's your daily, whether it's track car, whatever, if you can only can, if it's your first time connecting to that car, do a get bin. Okay, so you click on this one here, get bin. Now the reason I say that is because you can actually use any VU, VX, or VY NA Ecotech ECU. Um, you can pick it up from anywhere, and you can flash this whole bin back on to this ECU, and this can be a whole backup ECU. Your car will run, all your security information will be intact, everything. So it's a good good idea for a backup. Okay, um, writing the bin can be risky, but we'll, we'll go over that later. Okay, so while this is doing a read, so we're dumping the whole bin, we're going to look into what um, Tuner Pro is. Okay, so Tuner Pro is the software gonna, we're going to be using. This is the free version, so this is the non-real-time version of Tuner Pro. And it can be installed off this file here, again, which is in the description for download in that folder. Now what Tuner Pro is, is basically just a uh, software that you can make your own definitions for. So people have gone out that actually know what's in these ECUs and they've made definition files to do with everything. So 
Um, you open up your bin in here when you're done or your calibration and you can just choose what you want to do. Okay, so whether you need to disable VATs or whether you want to raise, disable DFCO or change your shifting points or whatever. Now keeping in mind, in our download we've got two types of XDFs, so we've got the CM edits as well. So CM edit, um, we'll open up now, is basically it's just added some gearbox parameters um, like there, that one there. So if you adjust this, keeping in mind this is wrong right now because this is not the right bin for this. Whoops, this one here. Um, then you adjust that to the max and that'll hold gears or hold first gear, for example, when you drop it back into first gear. Okay, so that's Tuner Pro. Um, we'll check in on this. So that's still going. So while we're looking, while this is still going in the background, we'll talk a bit about what's in the ECU. So there's a binary in the ECU that's 128 kilobytes. Um, if you download the whole binary, you get the EEPROM, RAM, the executable code, the engine and trans calibration, transmission executable, and en engine executable code. Now, this is only really important if you're one, making a backup ECU, or two, if you're putting a whole custom operating system on like the ones enhanced, for example, so something that's been heavily patched and modified. Now, what you should really be doing when you're tuning, so when you've already got a copy of the bin and you're just changing, making changes to the tune, you're only going to use the calibration and that's gonna be just this little bit here. Um, it won't be the whole thing. Okay, so that's pretty much that. We'll, we'll fast forward through this and we'll be back when that's done. All right, and we are back. That has been fast forwarded through. So now you'll get this here. So clear bin register data. Um, I always click no, but basically you would click yes if you were ever sharing the bin with someone and you didn't want any security information, etc., to be in there. But for the sake of a backup, um, you would click no. Okay. Now we're just going to save this as WAG stock. I spelled it weird because my keyboard's a bit broken, so don't worry about that. Okay, so now we've got that bin and we've got a good backup. Um, what we're going to do is to know what XDF we need to use, we are going to go and use this ID tool here. So this ID tool will allow you to identify a full bin and tell you exactly what you need. So you open it up, go to ID a bin file. We've got the WAG stock here. And as you can see, this is gonna be 060AVY. So when we go into Tuner Pro, we're gonna go into Select XDF and we are going to get the 060A, which is right here. We're gonna open our bin now because we have a definition file open. It's gonna be in documents, yep, that one there. And we're going to turn off VATS just by setting that, saving that, and then we are going to just go save bin as and just call this. Um, just that's or something like that, that'll be fine. Okay, so now we've done that, that is our bin modified. That's how easy it is. Now to modify anything else, it's all in here. You can just do whatever you wanna do. But now we're gonna talk about the difference between calibration and, and the full get file, or get bin, sorry. Okay, so get bin reads the whole operating system, calibration, everything, as I explained before. Now get calibration, once you have your bin as a, as you have your whole bin as a backup, that's fine. When you want to write back, you don't write the whole bin. Um, you only write the whole bin if, like I said, one, you're cloning an ECU, or two, you're using a custom operating system like the ones enhanced or something along those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to write cal. Okay, so we're going to write cal, go yes. And we're going to do this one here. Now, yes, it is a whole bin, but Tuner Pro only edited the cal variant of it, and when you go to write cal, it'll only take what it needs from the bin, so that's fine. Okay, so we're going to write the whole calibration now. Again, it'll take a while, but we'll fast forward through it.
All right, so here we are with the calibration right success. So now let's see if the car will start. Turn it back off completely and then try and start it. As you can hear, car is running fine now because we disabled the security. Okay, now let's um, show you what happens when the calibration fails and how to solve that problem. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go right cal again. And this time we're gonna purposely make it fail. Okay. All right, there you go. Whoops, <laughs> not whoops, but we've uh, now messed up that calibration. Okay, so the car will more than likely not run. Yep, nothing. Car won't run at all, it's not happy. Now with that being said, I also doubt we'll be able to connect to the ECU to just write that calibration again. Let's try, see what it does. Okay, interestingly enough, it's letting us ride again. Let's just close it off so it doesn't check some. That'll really hurt it. Okay. Now remember, we've purposely messed up this flash for this purpose, okay? So go back into preferences again, set it all up again. In vehicle, ALDL, flash, auto fix. Now let's see if we can connect to the ECU. Because we didn't do the checksum and we, we like sort of crashed it, I'm gonna guess that the uh, ECU is in an unknown state and that we will not be able to even connect to it. Okay, so as you can see, we cannot connect to the ECU. Now there's a simple fix for this, and I'm, you're gonna jump over to my phone camera to show you this. Okay, so you've messed up your calibration somehow, and now these use in an unknown state and is crashed and you cannot connect to it. There are a few options. You can disconnect the battery. It's the easy option. Or you can just disconnect the engine fuse. So the engine fuse is usually fuse number four on VY, so that's gonna be this one. So you're going to disconnect that for a few seconds. And then you're going to put it back in. Now keeping in mind, disconnecting this will reset um, your block loan multiplier, which is your long-term fuel trims. Is that really an issue? No, it'll be easy to relearn. That's not a problem. Okay. So now we'll go back and try it again. All right, we're back in the car. We're gonna try and connect and fix that issue now, see if it works. There you have it, we are connected again. So let's uh, flash our stock back on, our proper one, and make sure it goes through this time. All right, so as you can see, the calibration was a success this time. So let's see if we can start the car again. There you have it. Car runs, so if you do have any issues and the ECU locks up for some reason when you're riding the calibration, just uh, disconnect the battery or remove that engine fuse for a few seconds. So if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if this helped you, please comment, 
comments really help a lot with the algorithm. So if you've got something to say, a question, or you want to just thanks video, please go ahead and do so.